have always been really worried about me I think like what are you doing what have you been up to kind of thing like are you doing this and I show them all the work that I've done I've got all the photos of work that I've done so I think that's like you know my mum uh, she's pretty creative but uh, she doesn't I think she would have been a really really amazing artist but she did not really push herself into it you know because of having children and all that kind of jazz and being married and but um my dad owns car yards just properties out in South Auckland and that kind of thing but he's my parents generally on the whole are quite creative people I'm coming from a different point of view where you can make up money out of art you know I wasn't really influenced by too many things apart from things that were just external, like kindergarten and that kind of thing, but I've always had quite a flair for art. Yeah, motivation plays a great part in my life and I seem to be able to give myself the guilt trips pretty easily if I'm not doing what I feel I should be doing kind of thing, but I'm, I'm a Taurus so... I'm like very assertive in what I'm doing and very practical and quite materialistic as you can probably see within the artwork and that kind of thing so okay this was the start of the mixed media kind of phase for myself um, there's photocopies there's paper mache with a, um, like oil paints over the top of it these applications of fabrics and different types of bits and pieces that I've picked up from along the way I was approximately 15 or 16 years old and I thought, yep, yeah, I'm going to get a tattoo and I walked into this tattoo studio and there was a big burly looking biker and he said, oh, hello dear, how are you? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good, I want to get a tattoo. How old do you have to be to get a tattoo in Australia? And he was like, oh, you have to be 18, you're 18, aren't you? And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, totally. And it's quite funny and I did not draw it myself. I just walked along the wall and thought, that'll look pretty, that'll do kind of thing, I just want the tattoo. Um, and this is an old school sailor jury tattoo and the idea behind all of these old school tattoos was that they have fat, thick black outlines all the way around which last really well and bold planar colour. Um, the looks that I like the most are from little boys because always little boys are always scared and they're always like eh, and run and gap it but the little girls the little girls are like whoa I like your earrings those are cool I like your pictures they're choice too with an industry like tattoo it's heavily dominated by older males who have got egos that are very inflated unfortunately but um yeah I've seen some scenes <laughs> No matter where you go, you think you've gotten away from them, but you don't. It's always still there and someone hates someone else and it can be flared up due to vices a lot of the time, unfortunately. Um, and that's that's one thing that I'm, I try to keep away from, especially with tattoo, is the vices because that will be the ruin of the tattooist. Guys who've been drinking will just come up and grab your arms as if they're theirs to look at. Just grab them and be like, oh yeah, kind of thing. And that's one thing I don't appreciate. It's it's a, about personal space and that these are not there for someone else. They're there for me. One day I was walking up Queen Street and I went into Real Groovy and I started looking through tattoo magazines and I was like, I'd like to learn how to tattoo, that'd be cool. And I was 17 years old and um, so I cruised up to the local tattoo studio and started chatting to the guy who owned the show and he said, oh yeah, I'll teach you how to tattoo and I'm trying to be quite high class with it. I'd like to own a Porsche and drive it really fast down the autobahn so that'd be pretty cool. So that's one of my goals. <laughs> when I'm tattooing someone, I... I don't really feel sorry for them, for the pain, because <laughs> I'm too busy concentrating on what I'm actually doing.
because art is what makes me happy and as I said, I've said before, sitting in an office would not make me happy. <laughs> It would make me very unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all it's about, is making yourself happy.